Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Senor Mocha Lover. Hey, Mocha Lover. And let's continue our United States of Greater Austria campaign. So, last time, I didn't exactly have a meltdown, but I was disappointed in losing in Spain. But, I have decided, with the request of a commenter who left two comments, that maybe we should shift our focus elsewhere instead of just Europe. So I've been thinking, besides the Belgrad Pak, which consists of Romania and Serbia, should we go somewhere else? Should we attack somewhere else? Since I don't really want to attack the Reichs Pak, because even though Germany is losing, I don't want them to lose too quickly. Now, some, that same guy, he said, France is really my main enemy, and they're, they're not incorrect. That person is definitely not incorrect. The French Habsburg relations, even though this is the commune of France and not the kingdom of France in Africa, they have had, we've had, not great relations in the past. So, um, we're not the strongest yet, we're definitely not the strongest power in the world, but we are trying to become stronger and stronger. And I've come to the, to the conclusion that when we finish the Belgrade Pact off and add Serbia and Romania to our alliance, we're going to expand. And what direction are we going to expand? We're going to expand east. Because right now, the Russians are having a very difficult time. They've not taken out the Don Kuban with Union, which actually I might take out eventually, if I can beat up Russia. They've not taken out Turkestan, Khanate. They have Finland, but that's it. They are currently in a major war against the Jap Empire of Japanese and her allies, as well as the Mongolians, which is kind of crazy. So hopefully, we can go to war with Russia eventually, who is losing quite a few guys, and they don't have a ton of divisions yet. They have a up to 139, and we don't have a ton, but I'm making a lot more, which is actually really, really good. Um, so with that in mind... We should, if I look at all these armies, have at least 60. We definitely have at least 60 when I combine the Eastern Front with our Romanian guy up here. And that should be enough to really crush the Russians on two sides, including the Finns. Because the Finns only have how many divisions? 12. So, we should be able to take all of Euro European Russia. What I want is up to the Urals. Up to the Urals, we'll have all of that. And then we can focus on the Don Kuban region, maybe give that to our puppet Russia, maybe, maybe not. Expand or influence even further into Eastern Europe as we watch Germany continue to die. So that's that will be our goal. So right now, we're going to wait for our justification on Serbia, because the Serbs are a bunch of bastards. How long would it take to justify against... Oh. Okay, that's a lot shorter. I'm not exactly sure why. How long would it take to do this? 195 days. Do I wait 100 days, or do I go for 45? I don't have to take out Serbia. And I do have access to Russia right now. I doubt... Uh, if I go to war against Russia right now, that means I have to really, really delay my invasion of the Belgrade Pop, which is fine. Which is totally, totally fine. But I do know that Russia's divisions are probably all located in the east, because actually I did tag over and I did see them moving all the divisions that way. We could have a, an extremely incredible victory early on against the Russians, and I really doubt the Russians would be <clears throat> able to do very much. And since we do have 12 divisions already being made... Hmm... Hmm... You know what? Let's do it. It only takes 45 days. That's literally less time for me to go to war with the Serbs. Uh, you might as well just cancel it. Cancel it. And yes, I will bring back my winged hussars, my horse heroes, as someone put. They will come back as stronger horse heroes. So we'll just put it like that. All right. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna do this. Do that, and then you're gonna do this. Yes. I know they're not exactly even. But that's okay. You're gonna come to the only border we have with the Russians. And then your goal is literally the entire European portion of Russia, including Finland. You you definitely don't have enough divisions for that, but... Ooh, expert delegate. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. But uh, this will be our incoming plan. Let's see, you. If we have to have someone, that'll be you. And we have to have, if we have to have someone, we're going to wait for the tanks to get us to give them under Lothar. 
though, darn, he'll be good. Oh, wait, we can actually put one of you guys underneath since you suck anyways. Mm, level 3, 3, 3. Uh, we'll do logistics. No, they won't get affected by logistic companies because that's a field marshal trait only, so... Skilled Staffer could be useful. That won't work, so basically the only guy that's really useful is Eugene. Alright, Eugene. Yeah, these are field marshal traits, but he can have plus 6 to his military stuff. So. Or his army, I mean. Oh, and we also have a few divisions, of course, helping out Germany for now, since I don't want him to die too quickly. And these guys are actually learning quite a bit. Uh, ooh, improvis improvisation expert is always good. How about you? Do you have anything? I wondered why. Where, I wondered where all my other generals were at, and they were already fighting in the war. Oh, I have five guys here. Oh, didn't realize that. That's okay. As long as we get a bunch of experience, since we have enough manpower, we've got a pretty good industry going. Still trying to make a few more civilian factories, but realistically, I'm going to need more military factories. And, and eventually some naval dockyards too, but that can wait. That can definitely wait. 70... Oh, oh 80, yeah, that's good. Definitely put you near the bottom, since everything else is being made first. Oh, you come up since you're almost done anyways. Good. That'll look good. That'll look really good. Let's see, do we need anything? We need more medium tanks. That's really what we need. And actually, by the time we go to war with Russia, we might have enough medium tanks. Probably not. Probably not, but maybe. Medium tanks, yeah, we really want more medium tanks. Everything else is really good for, so, for now, except we need more tungsten, steel, and oil. Since I, like, someone did say, I don't like to trade for stuff. And you're completely right. I really don't like trading for stuff, because... I really should, though. I really should trade for stuff. Tungsten would be a good thing to do. But we're already making a lot. Uh, you know what? I'll trade. I'll trade. I, I will open myself up to trade just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't have any puppets yet, so... I'm only going to trade for, like, one of, eight, one of each resource. Oh, Germany could definitely use another civilian factory, so I'll help them out. And, of course, that dastardly oil. Romania. Yeah, we're friends. I'm totally not trying to declare war on you. Oh, wait. Yeah, Romania. Yeah, we're totally friends, but I'm kind of abandoning you, abandoning you for the Ukraine. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Good. Uh, did I miss someone here? None of you guys are my puppets. And steel. Yeah, no one... Oh, wait! Uh, I'm sorry, Germany, as much as I, I love you. I really don't. Oh, wait. I do want to benefit my own Italian people as well, though. Sorry, Germany. So that'll help just, just a tiny bit. Not a, not a whole bunch, but a tiny bit. So that does help our tanks. That does help our motorized. Doesn't really help our artillery. That's fine. We got plenty of artillery right now. Over 3,000 pieces. Also, I forgot. I failed to mention that Binky's here. My cat. Oh, wow. The Germans are losing hard. Holy cow. They need more divisions. <clears throat> That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, are they getting attacked anywhere else? We're getting attacked here. The Irish are here. Uh, honestly, if I move... Oh, ooh, maybe if I don't move away. Because they're still getting hit pretty darn hard. I, what's the manpower like for... Oh, wow. It's not a bunch, but they're only on limited conscription. Germany, you have... Oh, even less. Oh, how many men have you lost? British-German war. That's a lot of guys. Holy cow. How did you lose 1.4 million to the Union of Britain? They've only lost 600,000. The French have lost a lot. A million from the Germans, but... um, Germany? Please don't die too quickly. <laughs> Please. Honestly, I think over here, even if I leave, they'll still be okay. Should be okay. But the center line is getting just pummeled to death. I think if I leave, it should be okay. I mean, we get a lot of XP here anyways. Alright, so go ahead. We're going to have to reinforce the front line here. Let's go. go uh, crap, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, yeah, something like that. Because Belgium's going to fall regardless. Germany, you, please, please put up more divisions. You, you need more divisions out there. It probably didn't help that I took the Ukraine from them, because they were supposed to start with the Ukraine, but whatever. That's okay. Alpine Mines, Centralized Fire Command, very nice. Oh, yeah. We definitely want more military factories. It's 1940, everyone. Having a great year. Got 25% research bonus for our next land doctrine. Oh, the Russians have arrived. Uh, let's see. Seven infantry. I did fail to forget. I did forget. That I can add... Oh, he can have to seven armies. Oh, that's really good. Request. I can request forces from the Ukraine. I'm going to request an entire uh, army from them. 
Uh, you know what, screw that. You're coming over here. You're coming over here. That's better. There we go. And what type of division do we have here? Uh, it looks okay. It doesn't mean it is okay. What type of infantry division? Uh, 18? It could be worse. That's pretty much a generic template. Yeah, that's pretty generic, but at least they have engineers. Horses? They, uh, horses, they have... Oh god, 10 with them, no. There's like, that's a pressure unit. You have a, looks like a garrison unit, that's 12. And they have one more type of infantry, but I'm not really going to look it up. That's okay. It's not terrible. But we're definitely trying to defend up here. And you are still getting attacked. Three divisions are. Learning a lot. We're learning a bunch of things. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? Wow, look at all our... Our organization is absolutely dead. Oh, we lost so bad with our organization. We came back for more. Oh, good. Horses up here. Yeah, Germany should be able to hold, but then again, I did say they should be able to hold the line and Belgium's almost gone, or I guess, Flanders Wallonia. So, how many more days until we can strike? Because I really don't want the Russians to have too much of a massive army presence up here. They have a lot of manpower. Oh, they have 169 divisions. Okay, eight days. In eight days, we will strike against the Russians, which will really, hopefully, go okay for us, at least. Because they still have to fight the Mongolians. The Mongolians, what are they doing? They've got 100,000 manpower, that's not bad. Union of Socialist American States is... Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Oh, this is the Fengchun government. Japan's a lot. Oh, the Union of Socialist... Who the... No, no! No, not Earl Browder! Jack Reed was bad enough. He became a committed socialist at the age of 60. God, you young people and your socialisms. Oh. Trade Union Unity League. Oh, this is this is this is the one of the worst and best timelines ever. Just because I unify Austria under one king, one crown, and we're all equal, doesn't mean the world has to go to shit like this. Holy cow! Not, not, not the Union of Socialist American States. Oh my God, that's so bad. But regardless, they will probably be taken down eventually. And honestly, with these guys, I'm just gonna have to tell you to go. Like. When, because they don't have that many divisions on here. Some of these places have like two, three divisions, but if we get seven or six, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll really be okay, and we've got to move fast because if Germany falls quick enough, actually, my volunteers are going to come back anyways. But if Germany falls too quickly, then um, <clears throat> we'll have a bunch of uh, syndicalist, totalist enemies on our borders. We can't have that. We definitely can't have that. Um, if Germany falls. <clears throat> Well, we also have Poland in our faction, but that means Lithuania will go hard left wing, Belarusia will go hard left wing probably, as well as the United Baltic Duchy, so that basically means we're going to fight on at least one, two, and three sides. That is terrifying. So we got to really beat the shit out of the Russians really fast if we can. Alright, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Let's go to war by Jingo. Huh. Oh, look. Mostly, mostly green. So we'll say red, but no. Yeah, we're, we're with Finland. No one cares. Ah, good, good for first couple battles. All right, so yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, of course Mongolia. Yeah, we're we're brethren here. We're, we're good. We're good guys. You know, just in case anything goes fishy, we'll do that. I don't need an invasion into my sea, my territory. Oh yeah, Japan. Yeah, we're we're good allies. You know, you and me, Japan. No, non-aggression pact. Never gonna break it. Never gonna do that. Never gonna give you up, you know. Yeah, you guys go help these guys out. I'm sorry, but we do have our volunteer forces coming back. Oh, we made an encirclement already. Jolly good. And we're all only coming from the Ukraine. I'm sorry, Germany. If this war ends soon enough, I will definitely come back and try to help you. So you don't die too quickly. Oh, yes. I'm trying to see yes. Uh, how the hell has Carl of Spain still survived up until 1940? I mean, even I lost my horses to the enemy. That's insane. Alright, so we have our divisions back somewhere here. Oh, wait, wait. You guys are so fast, you lost your orders. Good job, guys. Nice. I'm impressed. Alright. Just go right on ahead, though. Speed is speed is our weapon of choice right now. Like, uh, right here. Oh, Maybe, yeah. Actually, I'm just going to keep you guys here for now, just because hopefully the war will be over soon enough that I can send you guys right on back. To be honest, 
I might need a few divisions here. Actually, we need to fix this up first, because this needs to be 40 width. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have you ready for the entire invasion of Russia, because it's already begun. But these will definitely be used against our future enemies. Besides, once we can get to Russia, excuse me, we will definitely have a lot more resources to work with. Whew. Cool. And infantry division, we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to call these, um, what is it? Oh, I think this is, uh, my German is not very good. Am besten Jungen, I think that means the best boys. My Germany, my Germany? Huh? Well, ultimately, we want to be one giant Gross Deutschland under Habsburg rule, but we will have to wait quite a while for that. The Brothers' War in 1866 was just a mistake, so just a small mistake. It only took us about, take us about 90 years to rectify a mistake, but that's okay. Mm. Ah, red pink coffee is pretty good. So. So as we're literally murdering them all, this is this is going well. This is going very well. Especially if we can take resources and factories away from the Russians that they desperately need to continue their war efforts in Asia. Oh, I wanted to make an encirclement, but I guess that's not going to happen. That's okay. What's the casualty rate? We have over a million in reserve. We've lost 14,000 compared to the Russians. Wow. I've caused 175,000 casualties, all taking only 16,000. Wow, that's that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Transmer, yeah, totally. All right, so it looks like Flanders Valonia is completely dead. I'm really surprised the Batavian commune has not joined in the battle, though. What is that? Rother Damisha Drozdok Matchapish. God, Dutch is so weird. It's like a it's like a really bad German. Really bad German. Dutch army? Oh, it's over here. What are they doing? The Dutch Navy? Oh, that's... <gasps> no! Julius, you were supposed to take a jacket. Wait, you know, it's, it's July. Um, how did you fall sick in July? Heat stroke. I'm gonna call it heat stroke in Russia. Yeah, don't ask me. Um, wow, that's actually really good. They get a na new national spirit. That's, that's actually really impressive. More stuff. Ow. So just, just don't die, Germany. God dang it. Don't die. Support von Brown. That's probably not the thing you want to do right now, Germany. I'm just saying. Uh, you did Europa Commission instead of Europarat. Europarat. Huh. Uh, <laughs> help Austria out of its misery. Well, probably, you know, to be honest, when we played the, when we were in the Veld Creek, the Germans lost millions of soldiers. Absolute mad lads are just killing their own men off. And to a degree, the same thing is happening right now in the second Belt Creek. It was only the Austrians that helped destroy the enemy that was Russia and eventually helped lead the push into what was the Republic or Kingdom of France. Whatever it was. I think it was a Republic at the time. So, it's just... Without Austrian help, things won't look very good for you. I'm definitely going to have to reorganize the front line. Uh, guys, I'm really going to need you to move up. I'm sorry. And now our th lines are thinning very, very much. Let's go ahead and reorganize it so it's a little bit more even across the entire board here. Go ahead, keep going though, because the Mongolians are, it looks like they're actually losing their battles, so we've got to hurry up and do a little more action here. Oh, if we can take Muscova. Muscova. That would be great. Absolute greatness. I wonder what the the um, equipment levels are for Russia, because they have enough manpower, obviously. But their equipment levels, that's what I really want to know. The Germans are holding out, that's good. Uh, I hope the Serbs don't go fighting for us, don't go try to kill us. Okay, it's warfare, that's fine. What is the status of Montenegro? What is this What is this garbage? Gets, Serbia asks for Montenegro. Well, that's not good. I'm glad I looked at Serbia. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, see, there you go. Kingdom of Serbia is trying to fight us as we're trying to win a war against the Russians. Of course. Of course. I'm going to call these Balkan boys. Balkan boys. There you go. Balkan boys. Uh, Eduard Varger, yeah. Well, 
hopefully you'll be able to defend against you guys. And I'm gonna need some emergency soldiers. So let's go ahead and train another... How many divisions am I gonna need? I'm gonna need like 15. Set you to... Uh, over here. Set you at a high. Set you to... Yeah, you're high. That's fine. Yeah. That's good. Because I'm gonna need a few more... few divisions to cover central Romania, this little part of Romania, and then the Ukrainian Austri Austrian Romanian border over here. If we go to war with them. I don't mind giving up Montenegro if I absolutely must. I'm okay with it just because I want to finish the war with Russia first. That is a very, very high priority of mine right now. And Muscova is approaching to be a frontline city, which is good. Very, very good. Ooh, Austrian military economy, good. We got that done. Next up, in best instigate infrastructural overhaul. Let's see, this will give us heavy tank models. That's not really important. Hmm, Militia, 1940, rifle trials, mechanized. Well, it only takes 35 days. I don't mind doing that next. What about anything over here? Better research times. Austria Dalmer, Skoda. Yeah, let's do that. Franz Bumbuff is ill. That's fine. Whatever. Just keep moving, guys. The Russians, we both, both the Russians and I, we don't have enough divisions to do everything. Obviously, but that's okay. That is totally okay. If we can get to St. Petersburg, or Petrograd, I mean, that'll make me feel really good. So, how many divisions does Serbia have? Unpaid Ottoman debts? Oh, whatever. Let's see. They don't have that many divisions. Obviously, I don't. Romania does has quite a few, actually. They have quite a few. If I have to, I will give up Montenegro. Montenegro isn't that big, anyways. Yeah. Sirnagora? That's not bad. That's really not bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. How many more days? Yeah. Because if I give it Montenegro up, that's not, that's not too much of a loss. And I can add those extra divisions down here into the military up here. Ooh, we made an instrument. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, Ukrainian boys. Uh... Guys, yeah, you can do more than just that. Oh, we need we have more free civilian factories. Hmm. Well, let's keep one down here just in case. Let's see. More military factories really is what we're gonna need. 70, infrastructure 70, 60. Bos oh, Bosnia is pretty good, yeah, that's a lot. I like that. Just in case, we're gonna put one here as well and put one over here. And put one down. Eh, not that one, because we might lose that to the Serbs. Oh, and definitely here. Yeah, looks looks pretty good. Alright, so we're trying to make more tanks. Good. Are we losing anything else? Oh, we need a lot more guns. That's not good. Alright, that looks better. Uh, how close are the Russians to falling? They're halfway. That's not bad. We've inflicted 420,000 casualties. That's really good. Good. Just keep them occupied right now. Keep them extremely occupied. There's so many holes in the line, it's not even funny. <clears throat> but the Russians can't really do anything about it. So that's awesome. Let's see. Serbs, how many more times until I have to give them up? Oh, we're not even halfway. Good. The attacks look like they've stopped on the German front. Let's see, 1940. Support company's armor. Art oh, yeah, let's get some better artillery. So I'm trying to improve our factories here. Good. Wow, we are trying to get way down here. We're all the way in Fort Alexandrovsky. Wow. Kingdom of Ukraine is taking a lot of land right now. Not bad. How's the east looking? Let's see. The Mongolians. Not really much has changed, to be honest. Really not a lot has changed. If we can get to Petrograd, what I really want. Obviously, Moskva is definitely ours right now. Ivanovov, Ivanovo, Ivanovo. Then there's injured. Uh, Eugene is also wounded. It's not good. Good. You're doing well. You're doing well, guys. You're doing extremely well. This is the best invasion of Russia has ever happened in history. This will go down in the playbooks as one of the 
craziest invasions of Russia ever. Good. You're doing great. Take those other divisions out. You go ahead and come to this part of the front. You're going to stay over here. Don't move, please. Good. Does anyone have upgrades? Huh. Julius Ringel? No. Oh, did someone have an improvisation expert? I think we saw that at the beginning. Maybe it wasn't someone here. Someone else. That'd be, that would help with movement. Ah, Cook. Technicia Militaire, Militaire Committee. Awesome. Next up, radar, rocketry, support artillery, mountaineers, trank, trank, tank, uh, trials, mechanized. As we have a few weapons, that's always good to do. Wow, this is absolutely nuts. Alright. Yeah. Good. Petrograd looks like it's... Uh, Alright, we just walked straight into Petrograd. <laughs> no divisions defending it. I mean, this is just absolute gloriousness going on right now. We're getting closer and closer to the uh, Urals every day. Just closer and closer. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's good. Oh, we need use some encryption ourselves. Petrograd has fallen. Hmm. Oh, looks like someone's trying to invade... I mean, France, or there's maybe a battle, a naval battle going on. Oh, looks like the... Oh, the French Republic has invaded Marseille. All right, well, that's interesting. Oh, it looks like they've definitely pulled more divisions around here. Yeah, you go straight up here. That's good. I really need those Asians in the east to re... Oh, they only have up to 56 factories? Awesome. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I don't think I can really defend against the Romanians or Serbs right now, so... Yeah, I'll have to give it up. That's okay, though. I definitely need more soldiers on the front, though. Definitely need more soldiers. Mer Soldaten. Even though we're just kind of walking straight into Finland at this point. Come on, I need... Oh, we're only 81% of the way. Come on, you stupid Asians. Take more territory! <laughs> Come on. We gotta get to Arch Angulus. Oh, actually, the Ukrainians might be able to do it. Just go straight up. Samara is ours. Uh, I heard there's a place called Tsaritsyn around here. Is that is that still a place? Oh, we, made, we, we did another encirclement. Awesome. Yeah. That's a lot of factories taken away from them. Serbia, oh, here we go. So, Serbia, the resurgent Serbian state today pressured us to give up Montenegro. The largely Serbian, Serbian population of that province has, for some time, voiced their wish to join Serbia. In return for the province, Serbia has told us they will not demand any further Illyrian land. Should stay small. Uh, see, they will become controller of that place. However, I will let you know right now that this is merely a setback for the future. That we will easily overcome very quickly when the war with the Russians are over. So when Russia's done with, we're going to finish off the Balkans. And you know what? I'm okay with this. And I, of course, I will recore this part of the, uh, the country. Wait. Are you still... Oh! So basically, I give them a territory and that they still want my booty. Alright, well, uh, that at least bought us more time before we actually have to go to war with them. Which is fine, because I'm... I'm planning on murdering their, their heads anyways. Let's see. What do we need? What do we need more of? Infantry equipment. Oh my god, we need so much infantry equipment. What is this? Infantry equipment. Alright. Well, at least we know we need a crap ton of infantry equipment. I don't mind trading a few more things of steel. Let's see. Use our puppets. Uh, Kingdom of U Oh my god. Kingdom of Ukraine. Yes, please, daddy. Alright, so we got a little more political power. Theorists, uh, artillery, Art more artillery could be really good. More defense and soft attack. As much as I love Skoda. We will need more manpower. Oh, wait. We can't go with war economy. There's 40% more factories. We can't even do war economy, god dang it. Let's see, eliminate to extensive. I need soldiers now, so I'm not going to do extensive yet. Let's just get more artillery since we're literally in a war right now. If I have to, I will poop you guys out if I need to. Um... Infantry equipment. Put you right on top. Because we're going to need guns ASAP. 
tanks are doing well. Move you down by one, move you down by three. I'm not even using airplanes for this crap. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Just 153 guns a day. It doesn't seem like... It actually seems like a ton, but... Obviously, we need 31,000 of them. Come on, Russia, please capitulate. Come on. 85% of the way there. They're 85. Jesus. I really don't trust the Romanians were Serbs. They said they would not have any more claims on my territory. Yet they're going to try to conquer Vojvodina. What a bunch of two-faced lying bastards. Ooh, rifle trials. Artillery modernization. You can never trust a Serbian. Let that be known forever and ever. You can never trust a Serb. Actually, you come over here and take that territory anyways. Come on, guys. I need you to hurry this up. We should be able to defeat them. They're 89% of the way towards capitulation. 89. Come on, make it 90. Can we make it 90 before I end the episode? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? They only have 43 factories, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We did take Archangelisk, which is good. I don't know how the Ukrainians got this, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, you come this way, come this way, come this way. Just keep moving, damn it. Uh, you know what? You focus on this part of Finland and Russia. Actually, I'm going to mark you off. I want everyone else to focus on this side here. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. That's okay. We'll do something like that. Yeah, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Uh, sure, we'll do that, and then... Just keep going. Push, push, push. I, no, you're going the wrong way. I need you to take, like, Perm, Yekaternberg, over there. Sure, we'll take some supplies. Like, I don't need you to go this way, guys. Like, seriously, I need you to move, like, now. Oh my god, this is so bad. Come on, can the Asians take anything more? We, we are literally on a time crunch. Literally, right now, we need you to move, guys. Please, don't be stupid. Please, go. Well, with that in mind, we're going to end this episode here. Uh, obviously, the Russia will fall very, very soon. They are 91% of the way towards capitulation. The Germans are holding off the Third International, surprisingly, so far. Despite the Third International being freaking massive. But, I guess the Canadians are also getting attacked, so... Uh, with that in mind, we've done very, very well pushing our way into Russia, like I said. The Serbians are a bunch of backstabbing bastards that we will probably end up eliminating a major portion of their population after they're probably going to declare war on us because of our great espionage units. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we finish off Russia and prepare for war in the Balkans. Thank you very much for watching.